All right, how to embed closed captions in your videos inside of Premiere Pro. So I have a client that wanted us to embed closed captions in their commercial. However, we ran into some issues trying to make that happen. So I just wanted to go ahead and make this video uh, going over the process of how to do this correctly and kind of demonstrate the problems that we had and how you can hopefully avoid those problems or solve them if you're experiencing something similar. So uh, the client sent the files. So I've got the uh, the video file, which is the commercial right here, and also the SRT file, which is the file that contains the closed captions. They have created those for us, and our assignment was simply to embed those closed captions inside the commercial, and that's where we ran into some problems. So I've already downloaded and imported these into my project here. And uh, you import an SRT or a closed caption file the same way you'd import any file in a Premiere Pro, just control I, the shortcut to import. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the commercial file and drag that over here to create a new sequence. All right, so now that I know this is the section I'm gonna be working with, I'm gonna grab that SRT file that has the closed captioning and just bring that right on top of that section of video. So you should see the closed captioning in your program viewer right here, but if you don't, I actually had to enable this. You can just click this little wrench icon for the settings and right here you've got an option for closed captions display you just want to make sure that's clicked for enable and if for some reason that doesn't work you can also go into the settings right here and check whichever one of these that you know that you're working with it's probably going to be one of these top two but if not and you're not sure you can just try the other options and then for stream cc1 should be fine all right, now notice this shows up really small right here. So what I can do to fix that is just go into the normal effect controls and I could scale it up, but instead of doing that, I'm just gonna control Z to back out of that. Probably the better thing to do would be to right click and just hit set to frame size. And that's gonna immediately make it the right size to match the frame. And you can see over here that scale has gone up to 225%. All right, so that looks like it should. So playing through that. I'm going to see if I can bump up that rendering resolution so you can see that better. I cannot be late today. Make sure everything looks good, like it's all lining Let's up. Go then. <laughs> Sweet, sweetie. Yeah. All right, so the client has set up those closed captions. Everything lines up perfectly. We don't really need to do anything there. So our job was simply just to embed these captions in a single video file that we can then broadcast over our network. So that leaves me simply going to file, export media. All right, here we've got settings that we shouldn't have to really mess with. And then right here under captions, I've already got it highlighted. So under captions, export options, we've got none, create sidecar file, or burn captions into video. So the option that we need is not here. We need the option to embed this file into the video, which does exist, we're just not seeing it. If I burn the captions into the video, that means there is not gonna be an option to turn them off, which would be open captions, and that's not what we want. If I created a sidecar file, then it would be a separate file with the video, and you can upload video files with sidecar files, but that's just not what we're going for in this case. It depends on your platform and just what you're able to work with, but for our purposes, we need that closed captioning embedded in the actual video, so this isn't quite gonna work for us. So. Dropping down this format box, we see we've got several options here, and QuickTime should give us the option to embed those closed captions, but I'm not seeing it. And this MXF option actually works better for our system, but again, we don't see the option that we need. And just to skip ahead, I went through every single option here, and these three options are always the same. So that's the problem that we were having. So I'm just gonna cancel out of this, and taking a closer look, I'm just gonna zoom in here a bit, Taking a closer look at this SRT file, if I double click it, I can actually open its contents for editing. And here's where I see what the problem is. The client, when they created this closed caption file, actually created an open captions file. And that's why we don't have the option to embed it into the video as closed captioning because open captions are just burnt into the video. They're constantly visible. So that's not something that can be turned off. So what we need to do is just recreate an actual closed caption file. All right, so to create a closed caption file, you just wanna to go to this new item button and you've got an option for captions right here. 
and CEA 608 is what I found worked the best. I tried CEA 708, had trouble with that, didn't give me an embed option. So CEA 608 ended up working the best for me. So we should be able to leave these parameters the same. And there we've got our closed caption file. So I'm gonna use their original open caption file as a template, I'm just gonna slide that up and then bring the new one in right in underneath. I'm gonna shift plus to make those a little taller. All right, so inside this region, you see type caption text here. I just need to make my region fill the length of the commercial that we're gonna have the closed captioning, just like that. All right, so here's our first region. I just need to drag this out so it matches the original region and then change that text. It says type caption text here, but I actually need to go over here into the captions window and you can open this if you don't see it, but if you double click that region, it should just open right up. So that's where I'm gonna type. I cannot be late today period all right and we saw that the if i just turn off this layer we see that their text is centered we want it to match that as closely as possible so i'm going to center that and otherwise it looks correct so then i'm just going to hit plus right here to add a new closed caption region and slide that just underneath theirs and then plus to zoom in a bit to see that the text is let's go then exclamation point. Okay, so instead of retyping all that out, I'm just gonna drag in the one that I created previously because I have already done this. All right, so there's mine, the CEA 608. I don't need their original anymore, so I'm just gonna delete that. And now we're gonna go export. All right, so if I hit File, Export Media, if I drop down my export options now, I have the option to embed an output file, and that's exactly what I want. And then export. And here's the output file, so we can check it in playback. I cannot be so late So if I play today. through that. Well, let's go then. You're gonna see those captions Thanks. popping up. Sweet, sweetie. Guys. But if we wanna turn those captions off, I'm just gonna go up here and uh, view subtitles off. So if I back that up a bit before our guide talks. Well, let's go then. No closed captions. Sweet, sweetie. Guys, And that's exactly what we want. The option to turn them on or off. So overall, that all works like it should. But another problem that I noticed is the first caption of the video was not showing up. At the beginning, there should be a caption as soon as the video starts when she says, I cannot be late today. I cannot be late today. But as you can see, the captions don't start until the guy Let's says, go then. Let's go then. I tried several different things to fix this, but the only thing that worked was pushing that first caption forward into the video 18 frames. As we saw, this first caption, where it says, I cannot be late today, did not show up. I'm just gonna go forward to 18 frames. That's where it worked. It didn't work at 15, but if I move this up to 18 frames and then export again, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so here's the new file we just created. All right, so this is at the beginning, so if I hit play, we should see that pop in after 18 frames, which is gonna be a little less than a second. I cannot be late today. Well, let's go then. This one. Sweet, sweetie. And that's exactly what we want. So that was a bit of a rough run through, but hopefully that covers any issues you might be having or answers any basic questions about how to get closed captions into your video and to embed them into a single video file. So hopefully that's helpful.